just a community thing for people who have left the Mormon church. And it's kind of like a deconstruction, reconstruction thing. So I love it. And that's Wednesday night, next Wednesday, um, 7 p.m. here in the space. And yeah. Any questions before we start? Okay, let's just practice. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat if you're not already there. And I personally always like to wiggle, get a little physical feedback. So any little movements, maybe just rolling your head or your shoulders or even stretching your arms, taking a little twist, anything goes. And then when you're ready, just find stillness. So eventually just close your eyes, feel into the length of your spine, the length in the back of your neck, intentionally rest your hand somewhere. So maybe in your lap, maybe hands to heart, one hand to heart space, one hand to belly, just whatever feels most resonant for you this morning. And take these first few moments to really just arrive fully in this space on your mat, in your body. So feel whatever there is to feel physically, energetically, even emotionally. Notice the rise and fall of your breath. And not trying to change or fix or control, but just simply noticing what's there, noticing what's present. Next time you breathe in, very intentionally fill up as big as you can. Maybe even sit up a little taller, take up more space and hold at the top of that breath. When you're ready, open your mouth and big sigh, let it go. Good, again like that, inhale, fill up. Take that moment, pause at the top. Maybe a little extra sip. And then open your mouth, let it go, sigh it out. One more time, so biggest inhale of your morning thus far. Take a moment to just feel this breath, this prana, this life force circulate around inside. And yeah, let it go when you're ready. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Seal your lips now and start to drop into your ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. Start to create that gentle whisper noise, that oceanic sound with your breath. So your breath, there is a gentle effort behind it. It's powerful, strong, but at the same time, it's calming and relaxing, steady. So take as much time as you want, just simply sitting, breathing, and feeling your breath move through you. As you feel ready to bring in some physical movement, go ahead and begin maybe from your seat. So if you want to start moving just through your upper body, and then eventually no rush, but we'll come onto our hands and our knees and start to move intuitively from hands and knees. So take your time, no rush whatsoever. But just start to feel around a little more. Once you do arrive on your hands and your knees, you know where to go. Maybe cat cows is where you feel like starting. Maybe hip circles. Maybe you just want to sit back into a child's pose and find a sense of grounding. Rest there, breathe there for a moment. You can even stretch from your child's pose. Walk your hands to one side and then the other. Yeah, so anything goes. This is all about you, your body, 
and your own exploration of it. So feel free to keep your eyes closed. This is an, a practice that we go outward. It's a practice where we go inward. So what do you feel in your inner space, in your inner world? Physical sensations. Energetically, what's inside? Are there any spaces that feel tight or stiff or stuck? And then even emotions. What emotions are moving through, especially the holiday season? There's usually lots of emotions. So just notice what's there. And then all the while, just tuning into your breath. Use it to keep you present. So follow it with your awareness. Follow the rise and fall, expansion and contraction. Take about, let's say, three to five more rounds. So just a few more rounds wherever you're working. And then eventually find your way back to our first downward facing dog. No rush whatsoever. Good job, everybody. So as you move back into your down dog, do so with lots of awareness. You might take a vinyasa to get back to down dog. You might hover your knees in tabletop for a moment, then slowly lift your hips up and back. Once you're there, keep exploring. So maybe pedal out your heels, shift your hips from side to side. Give your head a little shake. Yes, no, maybe so. So filling into your down dog, even as if it's the first time you've ever been in this posture. What is there to notice? And how can you be more efficient in your body? Can you spread your fingers really wide, push the ground away with your fingertips? Can you find space in between your ears and your shoulders? So rotate your shoulders externally away from your ears and feel the space there. See if you can push your heart towards the back of the room without hyperextending through your shoulder joints. So feel the strength in your shoulders as you gently press your heart back and lift your hips high. Feel into that invisible rope attached to your belly button. I always talk about it. Imagine there's a rope that's attached to your belly button. It's literally pulling up towards the ceiling. It's tugging towards the top corner of the back wall. So rather than feeling like all your weight is coming down and all the energy is moving down, imagine the energy is moving up from your fingers, through your arms, through your side bodies. Feel that lift that comes from your center. And big, deep breaths. Nice poses, everybody. Take one more big inhale into your down dog. Feel whatever there is to feel. Lots of space, lots of length. And then as you exhale, gaze to the top of your mat, however you want to get there, forward fold. Give yourself a moment to just be in your fold. So if you want, grab opposite elbows for ragdoll or hands behind your head, interlace your fingers at the base of your skull, give the back of your neck some traction. Might feel nice to bounce a little bit or bob, sway. See if you can let your head be heavy. So rather than straining your neck to look forward, just let your head hang. See if you can bring your weight slightly forward rather than rocking back into your heels, less weight in your heels, more in your toes and the balls of your feet. And then feel that connection to your center, that invisible rope attached to your belly button pulling up towards the sky. Ah! Sorry, guys. I don't know what just happened. My iPod just like died. Take one more big breath into your forward fold. And then next time you inhale, find a halfway lift position. So spine nice and long. Get all the rounding out of your back. Exhale, bow, and let it go. Beautiful breath. Do that one more time. Halfway lift. So crown reaches forward, tops of thighs press back, sit bones broaden. 
Exhale, fold and let it go. This time, let's take it through our halfway lift. So all the way up to stand, heart leads, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, inhale, arms to the sky. Reach and stretch. Take your swan dive down. So lead with your heart, traction out your spine, then release and let it go. As you inhale, find your halfway lift position. So how much length and space can you create? Exhale, bow and fold. Good job, friends. Root through your feet, lead with your heart. Take it all the way to stand. Arms to the sky, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Do one more just like that and really use your breath to guide. Inhale, reach up and stretch. Exhale, swan dive down. Beautiful. Inhale, how much length can you create? So really use your breath to work the length and even strengthen your back body. Exhale, fold all the way to empty. Feel your navel to spine connection and then use that to rise. Connected to your center, arms to the sky. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, this time inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. So roll your shoulders back and down. Make sure your shoulders don't roll forward, but back and down instead. So shoulder blades hug your spine. And then if you can, you might even press your palms together, bend your elbows and imagine your elbows are magnetized. Try to squeeze them closer. See if you can start to lift your hands back towards the back of the room. Try not to lock out your elbows. Maybe add a little back bend. So lift your heart, lift your gaze, puff up through your chest. You can press your hips gently forward, but hug in with your inner thighs. Yeah, take one more big in breath. Nice, Candice. As you exhale, keep your clasps, swan dive down. So hinge at your hips, take it all the way down, forward fold. Give yourself just a moment to be in your fold with your fingers interlaced. So see if you can relax your neck more, let your head hang. If it feels like too much to press your palms, you can let that part go. Lift your knuckles towards the sky, possibly even reach them forward. Lift your sit bones towards the sky, weight slightly forward in the front half of your feet rather than in your heels. Take one last huge inhale. Good work, exhale, hands to your low back. Gently release your clasp. You can let your arms hang down, give them a little shake out. Next time you breathe in, find your spinal extension. So realign, exhale, fold. This time plant your hands, feet to the back of your mat, plank position. So pause for just a moment, spread your fingers, push the ground away, draw your belly button in and up. Nice, Brooke. See if you can take little baby rocks forward and back. So just about an inch or so of movement, not much. It's like you're sawing through wood or cutting through a loaf of bread with your body. Next time you inhale, find that little rock forward. So on your tippy tippy toes or knees come down to modify. Exhale, lower just halfway. So chaturanga hold, strong arms, strong belly. Inhale, push back up, high plank. Good, Kathy. Exhale one more time, halfway down. Strong arms, strong belly. Don't let your shoulders roll forward. Inhale, push back up. And then slow as you can go this time. Go ahead and lower all the way to your belly. Beautiful. Find a Spider-Man Cobra. So bring your hands out really wide. Lift your fingertips. Elbows face the sky. Lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Take a twist to your right side and dip your left shoulder down. Nice, Kate. Inhale back through center, heart lifts, belly tones. Other side, exhale, twist. Go ahead and take one more each direction with your own breath. So side to side, just feeling, noticing, observing. Front body, back body, side body, shoulders. Eventually your inhale will bring you back to center. No rush. You might stay for an extra breath or two if it feels good. 
downward facing dog is our destination. So you can start your own transition back when you're ready. <clears throat> nice job, you guys. Back and down dog, about five rounds of breath. So feel free to bring in movement, exploration of your own, or just be still. Even when we're still on the outside, there's tons of movement going on inside. So you can feel your breath inside of you moving through. You can make tiny little micro adjustments, the ones that I probably don't even see if I'm looking at you, but you feel them. And they might even change the way the pose feels completely. So stay curious. How can you be more efficient? How can you get more out of the posture? Maybe bending your knees would feel better. Maybe you try picking up your toes and spreading them apart and see what happens. This is the slightest transfer of weight in your hands, bringing weight into your thumbs and index rather than rolling onto your outer wrists. How does that feel? Big spacious breaths, notice, be in your body. Take one more huge inhale into your down dog. Very nice, you guys. And as you exhale, look forward, however you want to get there, top of your mat, forward fold. With your inhalation, find your halfway lift position. And Sophia, exhale, bow and fold all the way to empty. And then from that place, rise up. Arms to the sky, big stretch. Hands to heart as you exhale. All right, inhale, take your arms up. And as you exhale this time, chair plane. So bend your knees, swing your arms back, but keep your heart lifted. So you're not rounding and looking down at the ground. Keep an arch in your spine, spinal extension, like a little cobra in your chest. Awesome, you guys. Feel the strength in your back body. So I personally like to bend my elbows and try to squeeze them towards each other. That's how I feel my back muscles really engaged. You can choose to stay right here or option to lift up to your tiptoes for a little balance challenge. Make sure as you lift to your tiptoes, you feel that connection to your center. So as your butt reaches back, navel to spine, see if you can lift your heels higher and then get your butt just a tiny bit lower, bend your knees a little more. Awesome. Take one more round. Nice river. As you inhale, set your heels on the ground, arcing Tadasana. So rise up and open up. Lift your heart, squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. As you exhale, we'll dive down. I like to bring my hands to prayer at my third eye. Just an option, all the way down into your fold. Breathe in, find your halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Beautiful, Tracy, exhale, let it go. Plant your hands, feet back. Take your vinyasa however you would like. So you can add those push-ups, skip it completely, take it on your knees, substitute cat-cows. Beautiful. Eventually back to your downward facing dog. Big deep breaths. All right. From your down dog, next inhale, take your right leg to the sky. Go ahead and if you want to, you can open your hip or explore in any way. So maybe you roll out your ankle, maybe you take some circles with your right leg, but eventually square off your hips. So in your next two or three rounds of breath, find square hips. Very good. So I do not care about height in your right leg, but I do care about length, strength, and power. So as you push into the ground with your hands, at the same time, press back and up with your right foot. See if you can feel the front of your right thigh, your quad muscle fire up. So squeeze through the front of your right thigh. If I came over and tried to press your right leg down, nothing would happen. It's so strong and powerful as it floats in space. Take one more big inhale. Awesome job, you guys. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So round your spine, shoulders over wrists. Stay here, breathe in, push the ground away. 
exhale step your right foot forward softly beautiful take a moment and kind of stretch your legs whatever feels good to you so maybe your back knee comes down maybe you work your front leg towards straight maybe you open your front hip doesn't have to be anything fancy maybe all you do is close your eyes put your awareness in your legs take a couple of big deep breaths feel whatever there is to feel in your next couple rounds high crescent lunge so no rush but eventually start to rise and settle in So front knee over front ankle, high on the ball of your back foot. Nice, Bobby. Find that connection to your center by hugging towards midline. So front hip pulls back, back hip pulls forward. That gives you stability, strong foundation in your legs, and then feel into your own unique expression in your upper body. So heart lifts, gaze lifts, reach through your fingertips, feel your breath flowing through you soften your face nice paul take one more big inhale maybe you reach just a tiny bit higher now as you exhale turbo lunge so cactus your arms bend your back knee if you want to modify you can always bring your back knee gently down otherwise imagine you're trying to pull your back thigh forward perfect place to stay or option for a back bend so bottom tips of shoulder blades squeeze curl open rather than lifting your chin up Imagine you're trying to pull your chin back. So like you're giving yourself a double chin. Heart lifts, back muscles strong. Beautiful, nice, Kate. Take one more round. As you inhale, back to crescent lunge. And if you want, you can even straighten your front leg. Squeeze through your front thigh. Exhale, bring your hands to the earth. Root into your front foot, standing splits. So float your back leg up. I do not care if your hips stay square or if they open, but try not to sink into your outer right hip. So right inner thigh hugs in, belly button lifts up. So rather than feeling like all the weight's going down into your right foot, feel like energy is moving up. Use the strength in your left leg. Maybe spread your left toes. If you want to take a couple hops or if you want to play with your balance, feel free. Right arm behind right leg. Soft face. Use your breath to hold and support you. Take one more inhale. Maybe lift your left leg a tiny bit higher. Now listen as you exhale, left knee to your nose. So stay balanced on your right foot, but curl in, get small. Inhale, re-extend your left leg up. And then as you exhale, step your left foot all the way to the back of your mat. This time we're gonna rise into a warrior two. So back foot parallel to the back edge, cartwheel your arms up, settle in Virabhadrasana two. Very nice. So right toes face directly forward, left toes face towards the left side of the room, towards the windows. Nice, Kathy. Wrap your right butt cheek underneath you. Feel your right knee trapped towards your pinky toe. Good. Little tone in your belly. So if it feels like your ribs are coming forward, knit your ribs together. Think of a nice neutral pelvis while allowing your hips to open. Next time you inhale, legs stay the same, but reach for the front wall. So reach as far as you can. When you can't reach any further, reach just a millimeter further and then only your arms change. Right arm towards the ground, left arm towards the sky, side angle. So you choose where you wanna go with your arms. You might reach your left arm forward, bicep next to your ear. You might wrap your left arm behind you for a half bind, full bind if it's in your practice. Wherever you choose to be, heart is open, shoulders are open, hips are open. Breath is flowing through. Keep your back leg strong and powerful, back foot rooted. Press into the outer edges of both feet. Very nice postures, you guys. Take one more round. From the press of your feet, next inhale, reverse warrior. So stay in your legs, reach up, reach back. Yeah. So bend deeply into your right knee. And then imagine you're trying to lift your right rib cage up away from your right hip. Nice, Diane. Keep that little tone in your belly, knit your front ribs together. So we're not doing a back bend, just a side body stretch. 
if there is a variation you want to take, feel free. Sometimes I like to grab my right wrist with my left hand. Sometimes I like to take my left arm behind my back. So you do you, your own unique expression, and then breathe into it every single space. Take one more big inhale. Awesome, Tracy. As you exhale, cartwheel your hands to the ground. Pivot to the ball of your back foot so you're back in a low lunge. Now listen, three-legged down dog. Take your right leg back and up. From here, you can absolutely choose to hang out or next time you exhale, right knee, left elbow. So get as close as you can. Inhale, three-legged dog, take it back up. Right knee, right elbow, or maybe your armpit. So get as high as you can on your right arm. Inhale, back up, three-legged. And then listen, exhale, rock forward, plank your variations. You can hover your right leg if you want, lower down, chaturanga. Heart lifts as you inhale. Feel free to give yourself an extra breath or two if you like. As you're ready, downward facing dog, take it back. Find your breath. <coughs> Good, you guys. Ujjayi, slow, steady, powerful, and strong. All right, inhale your left leg to the sky. And go ahead if you want. Open your hip, take some circles with your ankle, with your knee. Feel around. And then eventually square off your hip. So see if you can feel really strong with your square hips. Rather than sinking into your outer right hip, hug in with your right inner thigh. Press up with your left foot and see if you can feel the front of your left thigh firing, your quad muscles turned on. Take one more big inhale to press up with your left foot, press down through your fingertips, lift from your center. Exhale, left knee to your nose, so round your back, shoulders over wrists, stay here, breathe in, see if you can lift higher through your waistline, awesome, Brooke, and then step forward softly. Go ahead and stretch on this side, however you want. So same thing you did on the other side or something totally different, just feel around. Good. Next couple of breaths, high crescent lunge, no hurry. So there is definitely an element of balance in crescent lunge. See if you can commit to the pose fully by squaring off your hips, all 10 toes face forward, you're high on the ball of your back foot. So it doesn't feel like you're kind of in warrior one, kind of in crescent lunge. You're fully in your crescent lunge. Your legs are strong. You're hugging towards midline. Feel that connection to your center. So again, rather than pressing your ribs forward, knit your front ribs together, navel the spine. And as you draw your belly button in and up, you feel your heart lift higher. You feel your low back grow longer. So there's more support there. Yes, beautiful. Breathe slow, steady. Soften through your outer body, your outer shell. What would that feel like? Take one more in breath. As you exhale, turbo lunge, cactus your arms, bend your back knee to a hover, or if you want, back knee can come down to modify. You choose, stay right here, or start to create your back bend. So remember, it doesn't come from your head. Rather than lifting your chin really high, imagine you're pulling your chin back and then start to curl open. Bottom tips of shoulder blades, squeeze, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Beautiful, one more round. Looks so good. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Straighten your front leg if you want. Squeeze your front thigh, squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, hands come down. Nice, Diane. Root into your front foot, standing splits. So don't worry about the name, standing splits. It doesn't have to look anything like the splits. Think of it as a one-legged forward fold. Your neck can relax, your head can be heavy. If you wanna play, feel free. You can take some hops, you can play with balance. 
active through your right foot. So try not to forget about your floating leg. Make it really strong and powerful. Energy running all the way up into your right toes. Nice river. Feel that connection to your center, navel to spine at the bottom of every exhalation. Very nice. Let's take one more big inhale. Maybe lift your right leg a tiny bit higher, so much strength. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So stay balanced on your left foot, but curl into a little ball, get small. Inhale, re-extend your right leg high. And as you exhale, slowly step your right foot all the way back, setting up your warrior two. Rise as you're ready. So left toes forward. Nice, Kate. Right toes directly to the right. Rather than feeling like your butt's sticking out behind you, wrap your left butt cheek underneath you and track your front knee towards your pinky toe. If when you do that, it feels like your right hip kind of shoots forward, see if you can pull it back. So again, feel a neutral pelvis while allowing your hips to open. Next inhale, reach forward, reach, reach, reach. See if you can inside your ribs. When you think you can't reach any further, reach just a tiny bit more. And then just your arms change. Left arm towards the ground, right arm towards the sky. Everything stays really open, especially your heart. Your heart wants to look up rather than down. You can stay where you're at or turn it into your own variation. Half bind, full bind, maybe right arm forward, bicep next to your ear. So feel into all the space. Yeah. Nice, Jen. One or two more rounds. Soft through your face, soft through your outer shell. See if you can unclench your jaw. Next time you inhale from the press of your feet, reverse warrior. So stay in your legs. Rise up. Reach up. Reach back. Beautiful, Kate. Deep bend in your front knee. Lift your left rib cage up away from your left hip. Feel into that space in your left waistline. Breathe into that space. Your own variations are welcome. So anywhere you want to go, feel into your body. Any little adjustments you can make to get more out of it or to be more efficient. One more big, huge inhale. Reach through your left fingertips. Bend your left knee. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the ground, low lunge position. So pivot to the ball of your back foot. Three-legged down dog, left leg to the sky. You can hang out here or exhale, left knee, right elbow. Push the ground away as you come forward. Nice, Candice. Inhale, three-legged, stretch it out. Exhale, left to left. So aim as high as you can on your arm. Awesome. Inhale, three-legged. Square hips as you reach your left leg high. And then exhale, rock forward. Your variation of plank to chaturanga. You can hover your left leg or you can modify. Come to your knees. Nice, Brooke. Inhale, heart lifts. Peel your heart open. Feel free to take an extra breath or two if you want. Eventually back to your down dog, or if you would rather, you can grab a child's pose as well. Give yourself a few rounds of breath, pedal out your heels if you're in down dog. And just relax if you're in child's pose, let the ground hold all of your weight. So we'll move through that entire sequence a couple more times. We'll go one breath, one movement. Doesn't mean we speed through it with momentum. Means we move really slowly with our big, spacious breaths, really intentionally. If at any time you want to take a break or you want to do your own thing, you want to move on your own, please feel free. This is your practice, so honor whatever it is that you need. If you are coming with me, downward facing dog in your next breath or two. Ujjayi. So use your breath to guide your movement. Take one more inhale into your down dog. Exhale, gaze to the top of your space. Step, tiptoe, or hop forward, fold. Once you've arrived, find your spinal extension, spine parallel to the ground, to the horizon, inhale, exhale, fold, let it go. Root through your feet, rise all the way up, big full body stretch as you inhale, and to heart, exhale. All right, here we go, inhale, arms reach up, 
chair plane or drinking bird. So exhale, bend your knees, swing your arms back, maybe float to tiptoes. Inhale, arcing Tadasana. So heels down, rise up, cactus your arms, open up. Exhale, swan dive. You can bring your hands to prayer at your third eye if you would like. Take it all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. See if you can keep that exhale going as you lower, chaturanga. Heart lifts as you breathe in. Hips lift, breathe out. Ha. Big inhale, take your right leg to the sky, strong and powerful. Slowly and softly exhale your right foot to the top of your mat, low lunge. Nice, Bobby. Rise with your in-breath, crescent lunge. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, turbo, cactus your arms, bend your back knee. Option to add the back bend if you would like. Inhale, back to crescent. Option to straighten your front leg if you would like. Thanks, Kathy. And exhale, hands to the earth. So low lunge, root into your front foot, standing splits, float your left leg high, spread your left toes. Exhale, left knee to your nose like a little crunch, round, hollow out. Good. Inhale, re-extend your left leg high. You can take a handstand hop if you want. Exhale, step your left foot back. And then inhale, warrior two, rise up. As you exhale, reach forward as far as you can, then tip it over, side angle, empty all the way out. Inhale, reverse your warrior, stay in your legs, reach up, reach back, long through your right side. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the ground, low lunge again. Three-legged down dog, right leg high. Hold here or exhale, right knee, left elbow. Nice, Tracy. Inhale, three-legged. Right to right. Aim high. You can add a push-up if you want. Don't let your butt drop down. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, rock forward. Your variation, plank to chaturanga. Inhale, heart lifts. Nice, Paul. Exhale, hips lift, down dog. Good breathing. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Stretch it out, strong and powerful. Now use your core strength. Exhale, step through softly. With your in-breath, crescent lunge, strong legs. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Beautiful turbo lunge. Cactus your arms, bend your back knee. Optional back bend if you want it. Inhale, back to neutral. So crescent, reach up, straighten your front leg if you want to, squeeze your front thigh. Exhale, hands come down. Root into your front foot, standing splits, right leg high. Exhale, little crunch, right knee to your nose, round and hollow out. If you want, inhale, handstand hop, or just re-extend. Exhale, step back. Setting up for warrior two, rise with your in-breath. Exhale, side angle. So reach forward as far as you can, then tip it over all the way to empty in your breath. Stay in your legs, reverse, inhale. Reach up, reach back. Deep bend in your left leg. Good, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge. Three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Stay here and hold or exhale, left knee, right elbow. Use your oblique, shoulders over wrist, push the ground away. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, left to left, aim high, out of push-up if you want, don't let your butt drop. Inhale, back up. And last time, come forward and lower down. Beautiful, friends. Lift your heart, breathe in. Lift your hips, breathe out. Give yourself just a moment. Maybe you take a couple open mouth sighs. We'll go through that one more time. This time I will add a few little things, a few small changes. So just like always, 
stay present, pay attention, listen to my cues, take what works, leave the rest behind. If you're coming with me, one more big inhale into your down dog. Push the ground away, lengthen. Exhale, look to the top of your space, step or hop, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bow, let it go. Ah. Root through your feet all the way to stand. Arms reach. And hands to heart. Exhale. All right, listen here. Inhale, arms to the sky. Side body stretch of your choice over to the right. So like a crescent moon, make it your own. Back through center as you inhale. Other side as you exhale. Feel the space in your right side body. Back to center, breathe in. Exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. Bend your knees, swing your arms back, maybe float to tiptoes. Arcing to Dasana, heels down, rise up and open. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Swan dive. You can bring your hands to your third eye if you'd like, all the way down with your exhalation. Halfway lift, breathe in, feel the length. So don't just move through this, feel it. And exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Keep that exhale going as you lower, Chaturanga Dandasana. Stand, lift your heart, shoulders back and down, inhale. Good, exhale, down dog. All right, inhale, right leg to the sky. Use your core, soft as you can. Exhale, step your right foot forward, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge, strong legs. Exhale, turbo, cactus your arms, bend your back, knee to a hover, maybe out of the back bend. Inhale, back to crescent, option to straighten your front leg. Now listen, exhale, airplane lunge or full airplane fly. Take a moment here. If you're balancing, go for a smiley face shape from the top of your head, back to your heel or your toes. Beautiful, one more round of breath. Awesome, Sophia, with your next inhale, back to crescent lunge, soft landing if possible. Good, exhale, bring your hands to the earth, root into your front foot, standing splits, left leg high, inhale. Exhale, your little crunch, curl in, get small, all the way to empty. Inhale, re-extend your left leg high. Take a handstand hop if you want to play. Exhale, step your left foot back. And then warrior two, breathe in and rise. Exhale, side angle, reach forward, tip it over all the way to empty. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Stay in your front leg, reach up, reach back. Now listen here, you guys, exhale back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, parallel your feet, reach both arms to the sky. Inhale here, and as you exhale, swan dive down. So wide-legged forward fold, hang out for about five rounds, anywhere you wanna take it. So giving yourself just a little break. Maybe you move, maybe you find stillness on the outside. All those little micro adjustments you can make on the inside. Slow, spacious breath. What the heck, you guys? My music is being so weird. Take a couple more. Next time you inhale, come back to a halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground, and then just crawl your hands forward, rotate your toes forward, you're in a low lunge. Listen here, three-legged down dog, so take your right leg back and up. We're going to pause, open up your right hip, so bend your right knee, stay here, or option to flip your dog. So if you would like, right foot comes down, 
Yeah, right arm forward, lift your hips, lift your heart. Back muscles strong, beautiful. Take one more round of breath, those of you in the back bend. And of your exhale, come back to downward facing dog and just walk it out for a moment. You can absolutely stay right here, keep walking it out or inhale, rock forward to a high plank position. Option to hover your right leg if you want to. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, lift your hips. Take it back, down dog. Continuing with our flow, left leg to the sky. Breathe in, stretch it out. Exhale, step your left foot to the top of your space as soft as you can. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge, arms to the sky, lift your heart. Exhale, turbo lunge, cactus your arms, bend your back knee to a hover, maybe add your back bend. Inhale, back to crescent, option to hover, or option to straighten your front leg. And then remember, airplane lunge or full airplane, so fly if you'd like. Go for that smiley face shape, top of your head, back to your heel. So use your back strength to lift your heart. Use your inner thigh strength to lift your back heel. Take one more round, your fullest expression. Good job. And then land in your crescent lunge as soft as possible. Breathe in, reach up. Beautiful. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, standing splits. Float your right leg to the sky. Spread your toes. Exhale, your little crunch, right knee to your nose, round and hollow out. Inhale, re-extend your right leg, hop if you want, just for funsies. Exhale, step your right foot to the back of your mat, setting up your warrior two stands with your inhale, rise, Virabhadrasana two. As you exhale, reach forward, reach, 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 and then tip it over, side angle, stay in your legs, stay open. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach up, reach back long through your left side. Now listen, exhale back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten your front leg, parallel your feet, both arms to the sky. Wide-legged fold, exhale, dive down. You go wherever you would like. About five breaths on this side. Trying to figure out the music. I don't know what the heck, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> so anywhere you want to go, move around or find stillness. Soft face. Next time you inhale, halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground. And then walk your hands forward, rotate your toes forward, back to your low lunge. Three-legged down dog, left leg back and up. Yes. Pause here and open your hip, bend your left knee. So feel your left hip stack on top of right. Great place to stay or option to flip it. Left foot comes down, left arm forward, heart forward. If there were a mirror on this front wall, you're trying to look at yourself in that mirror. Beautiful, back muscles strong, one last breath. End of your exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment, walk it out in your down dog. You can absolutely keep walking it out or next inhale, rock forward, high plank position, option to hover your left leg if you'd like. Exhale, slowly lower. Lift your heart, breathe it. And then you choose down dog or if you'd rather child's or even hero's pose. So seated meditation, kneeling position if you want. Wherever you are at, just feel, feel your body, feel your breath. 
Feel the energy moving through. No judgment, just observation. Meet yourself right where you're at. If you want, give yourself a couple open mouth sighs. Ah. And then everyone in your next couple of breaths, just meet in a tabletop. So hands and knees. From hands and knees, we'll move into a modified side plank on our right side. So pivot on your right knee, right foot comes to the outside of your mat, left leg reaches back and then left arm up. Rather than sticking your butt out behind you, see if you can really press your hips forward towards the windows. Option to take your left arm forward towards the front of the room. So bicep next to your ear, lengthen through your left side. Good. Beautiful. You can keep your left foot on the ground or float your left leg up. If you float your left leg up, make it strong and powerful. Stay here or final option, half bow, bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your left foot, kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot. Rather than kicking your foot up, try to kick your foot back and rotate your heart to look up. So take your gaze up and see if your heart will follow. Take one more huge breath. And of your exhale, slowly let it go. Release, hands and knees, tabletop position. And then from your hands and your knees, come down to your forearms, set up for a dolphin pose. So if it helps, you can grab opposite elbows. That's how far apart you want your elbows. Forearms either parallel, palms face down, or you can interlace your fingers for a little less intensity. As you're ready, relax your neck. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. Awesome, Kathy. So as you lift your hips, feel that invisible rope pulling straight up towards the ceiling. See if you can walk your toes in even closer. Lift your hips even higher. Keep hugging in with your upper arms. Keep pushing down through the belly of your forearms. And imagine you're trying to press your chest towards the back of the room. Stay where you're at or right leg to the sky. Right leg strong and powerful, stay here. Or if you want, you can play with little hops towards forearm stand. You do not have to get there. You do not have to arrive. It's just play. Take about two more breaths. I know this posture is hard. There's a lot of strength work. See if you can be with that. You are so much stronger than your mind tells you you are. Take one last huge breath. Awesome, Jen. End of your exhale. Bring your feet and your knees to the ground. Sit back and rest, child, or maybe embryo. So embryo, reach back to grab hold of your heels or just let your palms rest facing the sky. Breathe into your low back. Let your shoulders relax. And then downward facing dog. All right, inhale, take your right leg to the sky. Exhale, use your core, step your right foot forward softly. And then rise up to your warrior two. Yes, very nice. All right. Once you've found warrior two, we're going to move into triangle. So straighten your front leg. If you want, you can shorten your stance just a tiny bit. Imagine, just like in side angle, you're reaching towards the front of the wall, front of the room, but at the same time, somebody's pulling your hips towards the back of the room. So start to pull yourself in opposite directions. And then the only thing that changes are your arms. Right arm towards the ground, left arm towards the sky. You can bring your right hand to a block if you want, if you're using one. You can bring your right hand to your shin, 
or you can just let it hover. Use the strength of your core to hold you. Stay open through your heart, open through your shoulders, open through your hips. You can stay in triangle, you guys, or option to float into your half moon. Reach your right hand forward and float your back leg up. Just like when we were on our hands and our knees in our modified side plank, option to go for that half bow variation. Bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. Work it in the same way you did when you were on your hands and your knees. So heart towards the sky as you keep your foot back. Yes, if you fall out, awesome. That means you met an edge, you're challenging yourself. Be there, take one or two more big deep breaths. Beautiful, my friends. Let's meet back in warrior two. So softest landing you can find. Once you've landed, you can adjust if needed. And then just one more time, reverse your warrior. Get that stretch for your right side, breathe it. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the ground. Vinyasa, however you would like eventually end up in a tabletop position. So if you want to go back to the down dog for a second, stretch your legs, then set your knees down perfectly fine. Let's keep. Good, everybody. Once you're on hands and knees, start to set yourself up for side or modified side plank on the left. So pivot on your left knee. Get Diane, right leg back, right arm up. So open up towards the right side of the room. Let your hips fully open. Let your heart fully open. Maybe take your right arm forward towards the front wall and feel the length in your right side. Work that length, breathe into that length. Right foot can stay down or right leg can float up. Nice, Tracy, stay here or half bow. Bend your right knee, reach back, grab hold. Work your pose with gentle leverage. So kick foot into hand, nice Paul. Kick or pull hand back into foot. Heart towards the sky, foot back rather than up. One last huge breath, breathe into your front body, let it open. End of your exhale, slow release. Come back to hands and knees. Set up for one more dolphin pose. So down to your forearms. As you're ready, tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. Yeah. Don't let your elbows drift apart. Hug them in, push down through your forearms and press your chest back. See if you can walk your toes in a little closer than you thought you could. Choose to stay here or left leg this time lifts up. Left leg strong and powerful, stay here, or right leg is your springboard. Start to take just little hops. Maybe your right foot comes just an inch off the ground, that's it. That's play, be curious, be playful in your practice. It's okay, fall out to laugh. <laughs> take one last round of breath in your dolphin. Good job, you guys. End of your exhale, go ahead and bring your Left foot down, bring your knees down. Resting pose of your choice for a moment. Downward facing dog. All right, inhale your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot forward softly. Warrior two to begin with. So set yourself up in your Virabhadrasana two. And then working into our triangle, straighten your front leg. If you want, you can shorten your stance just a tiny bit. Hips get pulled back as you reach forward. So literally like you're being pulled in opposite directions when you can't reach anymore. Just your arms change, left hand towards the ground, right arm towards the sky. Don't let your heart close off. Heart stays open, shoulders stay open, hips stay open. Very nice, you guys look so good. So you can stay where you're at, triangle pose is awesome. 
or feel free to move into your balancing half moon. Bend your front knee as you reach forward and float your back foot up. If you were to look back, you should be able to see your right toe. So try not to take your right leg too far behind you if you're keeping your right leg extended. If you wanna go for the half bow variation, Ardha Chandra Chapasana, now is your time. Bend your right knee, reach back and grab hold. Work it just like you did on your hands and your knees, but now you're balancing on one foot, no big deal. Yes, beautiful, everything open. Breathe into every little space. Work your pose with your awareness, with your breath. One last round. Awesome, Bobby. And then see if you can come back to a warrior two soft landing if possible. Once you've landed, adjust if needed. And then inhale, reverse your warrior one more time. Stretch your left side. And exhale, hands come down. Step your left foot back, vinyasa, however you would like. This time back to down dog. Good job, everybody. Inhale your right leg to the sky and pigeon pose with your exhale, right shin forward. If you'd rather take this in a seat or on your back today, absolutely feel free. And then just take your time to settle. We'll be here for about seven to 10 breaths. Just notice, feel, observe. One of my favorite meditation teachers, Corey Mascara, he says, meditation is not about feeling good. It's about feeling what you're feeling with awareness plot twist eventually that makes you feel good so rather than forcing yourself to feel good which is literally impossible and just creates more resistance can you just simply be with whatever is and eventually that allowing that surrender to what is that makes us feel good that helps us let go of our own resistance and our own suffering. So just be with what's there. No control, no trying to fix, just allowing, just being the wide open space for energy to flow through. Take about three or four more. Open mouth exhales at any time. Oh. Last couple breaths. Slowly begin your own transition back to down dog. So you can get there however you want. You can take it back to a three-legged dog. Give your right leg a little shake. You can take it back to a tabletop. Take some cat cows. Vinyasa. 
So take your time, kind of neutralize, but then just as you are ready, I'll leave it up to you. Find your way into pigeon on your left side. Good, yeah, no rush. Once you're there, just big, spacious breaths to soften. So another quote by Corey Mascara is my favorite, and he's got so many. It says, there are three layers to every moment. One is your experience. Two, your awareness of the experience. And three, your story about the experience. Be mindful of the story. You're here in pigeon pose. That's what's actually happening. And part of that is your awareness of the experience. Feeling whatever there is to feel in your left hip. Feeling whatever there is to feel moving through. And then there's your story. What do you tell yourself about this pose? Is it, oh, I hate pigeon. I hate being here. When is it going to be over? Or is it, this isn't my most comfortable pose, but I can be here. I can breathe here. I can soften here. So just be mindful of your story. The story you tell yourself. Mindful of your own perception, what you choose to focus on. Take about five more breaths. Can you soften just a little more through your face, through your jaw? I like to explore softening through the back of my heart. How would that feel if you could soften through the back of your heart? I'm going to take open mouth size at any time. Ah. I'm just gonna leave it up to you. So please no hurry, but as you feel pretty much even on both sides, one final transition back to down dog. And if you're already on your back and you wanna wait for us there, that's fine. So back when you're ready, back to your down dog. And then if you want to take one last vinyasa, or just pedal out your heels. If you'd rather take a child's pose, feel free. So everybody, let's say in your next three to five rounds, find your way onto your back. So after a few rounds in down dog, maybe one last vinyasa, just start transitioning all the way down. Once you are on your back, draw your knees gently towards your belly and gently rock it out side to side. Give your low back a little massage, maybe feeling into any pressure points in your low back. And keep your knees together. You can take them apart, move them around separately, get a little more into your hips. And then in your next couple breaths, friends, supine spinal twist of your choice, legs to the right.
So legs go right, left arm can either extend out to the left or cactus with your left arm. And see if you can still feel your breath. Move all the way down into your belly. All the way to empty with your exhale. And just give more and more of your weight to the ground. And then in your next couple breaths, transition to the other side. You can take a moment as you come through center to neutralize. And then when you feel pretty even on both sides, no hurry, come back. Maybe finish off your practice with a happy baby. Or maybe there's some other pose, some finishing movements you want to take. Anything else your body is craving. There's an inversion. Or if you want to rest with your feet together, knees apart, or feet apart, knees together. If you just want to give your legs one big squeeze in, give yourself one big hug. Slowly start a transition into your final relaxation. And then one last thought by Kori Mascara as you move into your Shavasana. He just says, practicing stillness is not about privileging stillness over movement. It's about the capacity to be still amidst your impulses. It's about choice. So as you come to rest in your Shavasana, I know there's probably a million other places you could think of to be or think of to do. I know it's easy to try to figure out what you need at the grocery store, what you've got going the rest of the day, but see if you can choose to just be here, to just let yourself rest and feel your body resting, feel your body laying on the ground. Just be with whatever is inside. Your thoughts, let them come and let them go rather than getting attached to them. Your impulses, let them come and let them go rather than needing to act on them. Let your breath become effortless. Allow yourself, even just for a couple moments, to just be. Soak it all in. Shavasana.
Take a deep breath in and let it go. Just bring gentle movement to your body, wiggle fingers, toes, maybe even give yourself just a little temple massage, forehead massage. And as you're ready, roll to either side, fetal position. Take just one last moment, resting on your side body, nurturing pose. Just kind of let your practice settle in, absorb in. Maybe there's some way you visualize that. Use your arms to guide yourself back up into seated meditation. So right back where we began our practice. So sit up tall, close your eyes, gather your hands to your heart. And just bow your head to your heart. Acknowledge yourself for making the choice to be here, to show up, to do your practice, to connect with a deeper part of yourself. Thank you so, so much for letting me guide you.
the light in me sees and reflects the light in you. Namaste. All right, I'm 10 minutes over time because I'm like the worst at that. Sorry, everyone. Hopefully you don't have anywhere too important to be. Um, sorry for all the technical difficulties today. And thank you for coming. You guys are the best. Thank you, hon. It was a great class. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask. Say hi to everyone. Say hi to everyone. Yes, my daddy, my daddy. Yes, we're so good. Yes, we're so good, girl. Yes, we're so good. Bye, mom. Love you. Bye, honey. Bye, booby.